This book is Mrs. Pinochle's Bug Alphabet. This is the front cover. This is the back cover. And this is the spine that keeps the book together. When we read the book, we turn the pages gently and slowly from front to back. A is for ant. Ants are super strong and can live up to 30 years. That's much, much older than any of you friends. B is for bumblebee. Buzzing from flower to flower, they spread pollen that helps flowers grow. <gasps> Bumblebees are very important, friends. C is for cricket. Crickets are Mrs. Pinochle's favorite because their night song means it's summertime. D is for dragonfly, whose head is one big eye. <gasps> Can you imagine? No nose and no mouth on the head. It's just one big eye. All the better for finding and eating mosquitoes. Yum, yum, yum. E is for elephant hawk moth. Oh, look at this beautiful, lovely shade of pink. Why do you suppose it's called an elephant? Because it's so, so big, friends, and it lives in England. F is for firefly. Their blinking bodies light the summer night sky like stars. They look like little bitty stars. G is for grasshopper, who can jump over three feet at a time. Wow, that's as high as your head, friends. And some people eat grasshoppers. They're so big, you could even eat them. H is for housefly. Ew, yucky. Houseflies carry germy germs, so we keep them off of our food. If you see a fly near you food, you say, Shoo fly, don't bother me. Shoo fly, don't bother me. Shoo fly, don't bother me. That food belongs to somebody, to me. I is for inchworm. This is not really a worm, but a caterpillar and it grows into a moth when it grows up. J is for June bug. Born underground, they come out in June and frogs love to eat them for a summer snack. Oh, do these look like little green snackies? They look like little yummy snacks for the frogs. K is for catadid, which looks like a leaf. Oh, this little this little insect is pretending to be a leaf so nobody eats him. Some people call them bush crickets. L is for ladybug, the loveliest of insects. They help Mrs. Pinochle by eating the bugs on her roses. <gasps> Look at these little ladybugs. They come in yellow and orange and red and they eat the little bugs that try to make holes in the roses. M is for monarch butterfly. Its children are little caterpillars and they only eat milkweed. Can you believe this monarch butterfly flies all the way from the north of our country, from Maine, all the way down to Mexico where it's nice and warm. N is for nymph. Oh, look at these little nymphs. These are little baby insects. And some people call nature spirits nymphs. O is for orange sulfur butterfly. They can be orange or yellow. And they like to eat clover, which is green. P is for praying mantis. Look at this little mantis. He has his hands together like this, like he's praying. It's not praying. They're just really big so that they can eat a frog. They're holding their hands like this so they can go um, and grab that frog and eat him. Q is for Queen Bee, who's in charge of laying eggs for the whole hive. She's the mommy of the whole hive. So she gets to eat royal jelly. How yummy. 
R is for a rhinoceros beetle. Look at this beetle is so big and strong. He looks like a rhinoceros, the strongest insect of them all. It can lift things that are many, many times its own weight. S is for stink bug. Oh, don't try to eat these bugs or they will send out a little fart so that you'll say, oh, stinky, I don't want to eat that. T is for termite. Look at these little termites. These are very, very tiny insects. And they have lived on Earth for a very long time. They built big, big, big mountains. But inside it's all hollow and it could fall down at any moment. We don't want these termites in our house. U is for underwing moth. With their wings closed, they just look like tree bark. See, that looks like a part of the tree and nobody will eat it. But when they go flying, they open up their wings and oh, look at this beautiful orange delight. They have orange and black and white underneath. How pretty. V is for vine borer. These little animals or these little insects, they like to dig a little hole in the, in the squash and eat it all up. If they invade your squash, you need to plant melon because they don't like melon. They only like squash. W is for wasp. They may seem mean, but they're actually our friends too. They eat bugs that harm the plants and they build their own paper homes. Oh, Z is for Xerxes. Oh, friends, this beautiful blue butterfly, this one, we can't see it anymore. It's all gone. This is here to remind us that we have to protect our earth so that we don't lose any more species. Y is for yellow mealworm. Look at these little worms wiggling all around, wiggling, wiggling, wiggling. These look like a yummy treat for this mama bird to take home to her little baby birds. Look, she caught a little teeny worm in her beak and she's gonna take it home to her baby birds in the nest and let them eat. Z is for Zoraptoran. Oh, that sounds like a dinosaur. But look how tiny it is and it's clear. You can hardly even see it. You have to get out your magnifying glass to see it. If you find it with your magnifying glass, just say, hi, hi little bug. Don't squish it because bugs are our friends. The end.